if schools is a critical component of where you're going to live and you're trying to better research what schools are best for your kids, I'm going to provide you with some insight as to how you can go about doing that research, what resources to look at, and some different things to be aware of in terms of differences between schools and types of schools. I know Florida can get a pretty bad reputation for the quality of schools, and I hear it sometimes from clients in terms of them saying, ah, oh, the schools here aren't that great. But we're gonna dive into those tools that can help you decide between different schools as well as evaluate all your options because we do have a lot of options here. First, your residential address determines what public school your kid is going to be zoned for here in Tampa Bay. So if you really like a certain public school that you want your kid to go to, make sure you're purchasing or renting within that zone. And you're gonna to wanna to double verify that. Do not trust what is displayed on a website. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your realtor verifies that zoning. Each county provides online tools to check school zoning as well. If the zone school isn't to your liking, there are also other ways to navigate the public school system. Magnet, charter, virtual, choice, and fundamental schools offer different educational approaches, which vary by county. Magnet schools, for instance, offer theme-based curricula enriched with technology, catering to various interests like STEM, performing arts, and the international baccalaureate programs. On the flip side, charter schools operate independently and are run by nonprofit groups. They have the freedom to design their own academic programs and hire teachers according to their own unique vision. With different specialties among charter schools and varying levels of access across counties, researching available options is essential due to the different choices and varying accessibility across the different counties. Now, Pinellas County is home to some pretty interesting fundamental schools as well. The fundamental schools are all about structure, responsibility, and getting parents involved. They do put a big emphasis on parent involvement. So if you wanna be hands-on, then maybe a fundamental school is an interesting route to look at. Figuring out these programs means wrapping your head around their application processes, which could include lotteries, where you live or certain academic requirements, especially for high school. And don't forget those application deadlines, which are super important, especially if you're moving around the start of school year. When it comes to getting around, think about transportation logistics too. Depending on how far you live, bus services could be limited even if specialized schools offer transportation. Be ready for early mornings with a big cup of coffee or some long drives. Also, remember that school boundaries can change. Counties might tweak them to keep up with new neighborhoods and more people moving in. But don't worry, they usually give plenty of heads up and ask for input from the community before doing so. And here's the tip, school zones are not just about families and where your kid's gonna go to school. It also affects property values. Homes in top school zones often sell for more and attract more buyers so they're like gold mines in real estate. If public school isn't your thing, private schools are another great option, but they can cost a pretty penny. In Tampa Bay, you've got all sorts from religious schools to Montessori setups. So there's definitely something for everyone. And this is an option that I see a lot of clients take too. Oh, and also don't forget about Florida's voluntary pre-kindergarten program. It's a great way for kids to get a head start on learning before kindergarten actually kicks off. When it comes to college, Florida's got some good deals and also some beautiful weather to go along with your college experience. Places like the University of Florida and Florida State University are top-notch public schools known across the country. And not to mention, there are scholarships and prepaid tuition plans that make getting a quality education even more within reach. Plus, don't forget about the private colleges here. They've all got their own unique perks too. I personally attended the University of Tampa where they have a fabulous entrepreneurship program and really enjoyed my experience there. So I definitely recommend checking that out too if you're looking at colleges and universities in Florida. And then finally, when you're checking out school rankings, it's important to know where the info is actually coming from. Websites like the Florida State School Accountability Report and greatschools.org can give you some good pointers. So those are two good places for you to start. And I can't recommend that enough. Once you start honing in your search and feel like, okay, maybe this school or this school, or maybe you figured out the one school, go to it, do a visit, talk to some parents, and make sure that it's everything that you think it is. So wrapping it all up, digging into Tampa schools gives you the power to make a more intelligent choice, whether you're house hunting and thinking about it from a value standpoint, 
or focus on a school for where your kid is going to be going. Hope these tips and tools come in handy. Again, as a realtor, I can't give you a specific recommendation for a school, which is why I wanted to focus the video on what resources I can point you towards that will help you out. Make sure to check out the links in the description for all the tools and resources we discussed in this video. And if you're eyeing Tampa Bay for your next move or you have some questions when it comes to different schools and stuff, reach out to us because myself and my real estate team, the OBS Group, is here to lend a hand. We'd be honored to be your local guide. If you like this clip and want to watch another one, go ahead and click here. And if you want to make my day, smash that like button, drop a comment below, let me know your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on the next video we drop.